Roy, thanks for joining me. Um, welcome to South Africa. My pleasure. Hey, long flight from down under. It is. <laughs> <laughs> So we're on the Siemens stand and right now we are in front of the Vehicle Equipment Measurement System. It's a very cute model, but uh, I'm sure in real life it's a, it's a bit more uh, interesting. It's a, quite, quite an extensive system for condition monitoring for rail vehicles. Mm -hmm. So we, with the systems we have here we can do a roll through inspection, automatic roll through inspection of a train as it enters and leaves the depot. Mm -hmm. And then that, that provides maintenance information for the depot staff so that they can plan them. It's also used for primary uh, safety checks on the vehicle. So to make sure they're in a safe condition to operate. So how does it work? So most of the measurements are, are optical measurements, so it's a, it's a non-contact uh, measuring environment. Uh, that it records automatically as the train passes through without any involvement by the train crew. Uh, and uh, typically it will use uh, cameras and lasers and some other sensors to uh, determine the, con the maintenance condition of the train. Okay, so these these are the like scanners. Would you call them scanners? Yes, yeah. That the train passes through. Passes through. So typically it would be measuring wheels, brakes, pantographs, and uh, uh, there's a visual inspection system which will look at other items around the train to make sure they're in the in the safe state or the proper state. And how detailed is that visual inspection? I mean, is there a specific te technology that's being deployed for this? They're, they're, high re they're high resolution machine vision cameras, so, okay. so the amount of detail that can be uh, extracted uh, is, is, is quite is very good. And one of, one of the things it allows you to do actually is, uh, if you want to, you can do a sort of a time shifted inspection. So it, you'll get a collection of images from the train which out, when the depot staff are less busy they can review the condition of the train or else there, there is automatic analysis of the vision to detect particular conditions. So it obviously keeps track of, of the previous images so that there's a constant reference? Yes. So it can pick up if there's any anomalies or... So the data, the data management system that sits behind this keeps trends of all the measurements of the wheels so you can actually watch the rate that wheels are wearing or brake, brakes are wearing or pantograph carbons are wearing and using that rate you can plan when you're going to need to intervene with a maintenance event. You can save a lot of money on maintenance by having maintenance carried out when it's needed rather than on a time scheduled basis. Um, and then has this been deployed already or uh, yes. is it a new system? No, one of these systems is, is uh, monitoring the how train now. Okay. But there are, there are many systems around the world in uh, Europe, in America, in Hong Kong, current projects in Shanghai and Doha. So it's, it's an internationally important technology. Well, it's fantastic that it's like working in our own country. Yes. That's, that's incredible. All right. Thank you very much for your time. My pleasure.